This submenu is used to set additional parameters of the Geo 2.0. To enter the Set U submenu, while at the surface, press either the Advanced button or the Mode button until you see Set U on the screen. Then press the Select button. The Set U submenu has eight submenus. Set Wet Activation, Set Units, Set Deep Stop, Set Safety Stop, Set Decompression Algorithm, Set Conservative Factor, Set Backlight, and Set Sampling Rate. Let's look at the first one, the Set Wet Activation submenu. Press select to enter it. When wet activation is set off, the geo will not automatically enter dive mode. When wet activation is set on, immersion in water will activate the geo, which will then enter dive mode upon descent. Remember that it is good practice to turn on and check your dive computer when you are assembling your gear. This submenu is identified by the word WET. To change the wet activation setting, press the advance button to toggle it between on and off. Let's set it to off. Hold the select button to ignore the value and step back to the set you submenu. Or, press the select button to save the value and move to the set unit submenu. You can use the submenu to decide which measurement system to use, either metric or imperial. This submenu is identified by either the word IMP or by the word MET flashing. To change the unit setting, press the advance button to toggle it between Imperial and Metric. Let's set it to Imperial. Press the select button to save the value and move to the set deep stop submenu. You can use this submenu to have the geo calculate the depth of deep stops for no decompression dives. No penalty is given if the deep stop is ignored. When deep stop is set on, the geo will calculate a deep stop depth for no deco dives when you descend to 80 feet. The deep stop depth is equal to half the maximum depth. This submenu is identified by the word DS and by the stop arrow symbols. To change the deep stop setting, press the advance button to toggle it between on and off. Let's set it to on. If you set it to on, the DS icon will be shown above the stop arrows. Press the select button to save the value and move to the set safety stop submenu. When diving, it is good practice to perform a safety stop before ascending to the surface. The GEO provides you with two ways to monitor your safety stop. The classic way in which you define the depth of the safety stop and its length. And a more liberal way using a timer. We will see both ways in action later in this class. This submenu contains three options. They are SS off, SS on, or TMR on. To select either one, press the advance button or the mode button until you see the desired selection on the screen. Then press the select button. If you select SS off, the geo will ignore the safety stop and move to the next submenu. If you select TMR on, it will enable the safety stop timer mode and move to the next submenu. Finally, if you select SS on, the GEO will use the classic safety stop mode and ask you to program the stop time and stop depth. To program the safety stop time value between 3 to 5 minutes, press either the advance or the mode button until you see the desired value on the screen. Let's select 3 minutes. Press the select button. To program the safety stop depth value between 10 to 20 feet, press either the advance or mode button until you see the desired value on the screen. Let's select 15 feet. Press the select button to save the value and move to the set algorithm submenu. The GEO 2.0 is configured with two algorithms which allow you to choose which set of no deco limits will be used for nitrogen and oxygen calculations. You can choose either DSAT or PZ+. The selection will lock in for 24 hours after the last dive. DSAT has been the standard used by Oceanic to this point in all of its dive computers. It imposes restrictions for repetitive deep or deco dives considered more risky. 
PZ Plus or Pelagic Z Plus performance is based on Bullman ZHL16C. It features NDLs that are considerably more conservative, especially at shallower depths. This submenu is identified by the word ALGO and either the words DSAT or PZ Plus flashing. To change the algorithm setting, press the advance button to toggle it between DSAT and PZ Plus. Let's set it to DSAT. Press the select button to save the value and move to the set conservative factor submenu. When CF is set on, NDLs are reduced to values equivalent to those that would be available at the next higher 3000 foot altitude. You can use this submenu to determine the level of conservatism of your dive and have the geo inform you when it is time to ascend to the surface. This submenu is identified by the word CF and either the words on or off flashing. To change the conservative factor setting, press the advance button to toggle it between on and off. Let's set it to off. Press the select button to save the value and move to the set backlight duration submenu. The geo is configured with a sensor capable of measuring the intensity of ambient light. The backlight will only come on when the light level is low. If you press the select button, the backlight will activate and illuminate the display for the button depression time plus the duration time for maximum of 20 seconds. Note that extensive use of the backlight reduces estimated battery life. To program the backlight duration value between 0 and 10 seconds, press either the advance or the mode button until you see the desired value on the screen. Let's set it to 5 seconds. Press the select button to save the value and move to the set sampling rate submenu. Sampling rate is the frequency at which data is sampled and stored for download to the Oceanic OceanLog PC interface program. This submenu is identified by the word SR and the value flashing. To program the sampling rate value between 2 to 60 seconds, press either the advance or mode button until you see the desired value on the screen. Let's set it to 15 seconds. Press the select button to save the value and return to the set U submenu. Press next at the bottom of the screen. 